International School. Hope you all are fine. Have you guys ever wondered about the world? We all of us have different plans, different mindset for the future. We never know what happens next. All of a sudden, we all are in our homes, enjoying and praying with our family because of the small danger of the God. We all thought we need weapons to save the world. But now we understand that we need cleanliness to save ourselves from coronavirus, which is also known as COVID-19. You may wonder what are the changes going to happen in the world after COVID-19. Here we have different peoples from different sectors. Here we have Dr. Tania from the healthcare sector. Dr. Tania is the CEO and co-founder of Amthan Medical, which is the largest non-cooperative medical chain in Gold Coast, Australia. Dr. Tania was ranked 18 among the most top 100 young entrepreneurs in Australia. Young Entrepreneur Award, Global Entrepreneur Award, National Chairperson, Health Chapter, and Editor of AIBC, which is also known as Australian Indian Business Council. She's a Lola Karyo Sabha member. She's extremely different, driven businesswoman, speaker, columnist, and an award-winning young entrepreneur, the burning desire to contribute to society. Let's hear from Dr. Tanya. I'm here from Australia, I'm a business owner, an entrepreneur and National Chair for Health in Australia India Business Council. How are the things controlled in Australia? What was the biggest achievement in Australia? Giving you a bit of update of what Australia has been doing, um, we have been very proactive in um, making sure that we flattened the curve and we are right there. We have managed to flatten the curve. In Queensland, the state that I am in, we only got two cases today. In the last couple of days, we had zero. This is an amazing achievement. So I'm really, really proud of the authorities and I'm really proud uh, about this. Um, being an Australian doctor, that my patients and my community have managed to keep uh, keep their social distancing, washing their hands, and following the instructions of uh, the authorities. Well done. What was you most proud about? And I'm super proud about uh, the fantastic steps that's been brought into place, like broader testing regime to make sure there's no community spread, and if there is, we need to identify them. The other one, um, contact tracing, they have fantastic up-to-date te technology uh, that can detect the contacts and it's just the, the amount of accuracy and the amount of um, the, uh, the drive is only increasing. People are really, really switched on. People are very careful about what they have done and the authorities are really digging deep to make sure they trace every contact. So that's amazing. And the third thing what we are doing is um, easing the restriction but a very staged approach. So it's not, we are not opening everything too quickly but in very much a staged situation still. So these are the major updates that's happening over here. What are the changes going to happen in the world after COVID-19? Now, in the, within the health industry, there is definitely going to be a lot of changes, how we practice, how what we do in our daily life, and um, and also uh, um, how, we, how we manage these uh, patients coming with colds and flus and cough for the next uh, few months. So that's going to be a big impact. And also a lot of the elective surgeries has all changed how the practice and how the operate have changed. So um, I can give you an example. We have now brought in a lot of telehealth consultations. So we've introduced our own number, 1300 for M10. M10 is our medical company. So we've never had that before. All of these have the options we never implemented. So that was a big change. So the what was the biggest thing from the government side? Government has put in a lot of money, a lot of resources 
in helping with uh, helping people so that they are not at risk going to the hospital. So that's amazing. Or they don't need to go to the general practice. They can simply, in the luxury of their own home, call this 1-300 uh, for Amtan. So that's something that we are providing. And government is funding for telehealth consultations, completely free of charge, and also putting in a lot of money and a lot of resources in dealing with mental health cases as well. Because what we know is when people are locked down, they have got immense stress, immense anxiety of the health, of the economy, the job losses, the future. It's, and also if they're pregnant, they're worrying about the baby. So the, there's so much of stress and anxiety that's going on. So all of this needs to be addressed. And, uh, you know, really proud that Australian government has put in a lot of effort in this area. Anyway, um, so good luck. And uh, I hope uh, we all will survive uh, COVID-19 as a global family. We will fight it and will come back stronger. But right now, we have to stay positive. Right now, we have to survive this. And we'll come back with more power, more strength. Bye. Thank you Dr. Tanya for spending your valuable time with us. Now we got a valuable information from the healthcare sector. I'll be back with different people from different sectors. So stay home, stay safe and stay positive. Thank you. Bye.